We're learning more background meantime about the high school shooting in Georgia. The FBI saying the 14 year old suspect made threats about a school shooting a year prior in an online chat platform called Discord. It begs the question, how do we protect and monitor our children's activities online? Sarah Acosta spoke with a cybersecurity specialist about apps that parents can use to monitor what their child is doing on phones and tablets. Children or teens spending time online is almost unavoidable, but how can parents protect or monitor their child while they are online? Chris Walls, a chief technology officer with Critical Fault, a cybersecurity company, he says yes, there are ways to monitor your child's online activity, but first you need to have an honest conversation with them. The best thing you can do is talk to your child. There's nothing better than encouraging them, uh, communicating with them about what they're doing online and having that conversation. A popular online chat platform used mainly for gaming called Discord is where recent threats about a high school shooting in Georgia were made. Wall says Discord is a tough one to monitor unless you share an account with your child so you can monitor messages and activity. So if it's like a verbal threat, there's you parents don't have a way of, of knowing that happened, correct? Unless they're like physically in the room. Not at this time. However, probably in a year or two from now, there's probably going to be a product that exists that allows people specifically to watch what's going on inside of Discord and other chat applications. Wall says there are parental control apps that do monitor your child's online phone or tablet activity like Hour Pact, Custodio, or NetNanny. These can be pricey, anywhere from $50 to $100 a year, depending on the plan you pay for. But they alert you on your apps your child is using to even sending random screenshots of their activity. A tool like NetNanny uh, and others, allow you to get those screenshots and get, get an idea of what they're doing. You won't see everything. You only see what the screenshots are showing, what the phone is doing at those times. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News.